हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट टैबलेट टूलिंग सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज टैबलेट टूलिंग द वर्ड टैबलेट प्लस टूलिंग और टैबलेट टूलिंग रेफर्स टू टू मेजर कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज द फर्स्ट वन डाई एंड द सेकंड वन पंचेस द टैबलेट कॉम्प्रेशन मशीन आर मेड इन कीपिंग इन व्यू द टाइप ऑफ डाइस एंड पंचेस विल बी यूज ऑन दैम द डाइस एंड पंचेस एंड देयर setup on compression machine is togetherly known as tooling then dies and punches are the tools that determine the shape size and also nature of the tablet then here you can see different types of punches that are used for tablet tooling the first one you can see here that is the shallow concave which can be used for round or capsule shaped of uh, tablets then standard concave so standard concave is used for round or capsule shaped then deep concave again for round and capsule shaped extra deep modified ball and the last one what you can see is uh, that is a flat a uh, flat faced bevel aged then this you can see round shaped punch die set then second one oval shaped punch die set then the third one that is capsule shaped punch die set and the last one geometric shaped punch die set all these are applicable uh, to pharmaceutical as well as in ayurvedic industries for manufacturing tablets of different sizes and shapes then the next one that is the basic mechanical unit in all tablet compression machines include a lower punch which fits into a die form the bottom and an upper punch having the head of the same shape and dimensions which enters the die cavity from the top after tablet material filled in die cavity and tablet is formed this is made clear in single station tablet punching machine you know whatever the die is there your upper punch and lower punch are similar to that so that they can fit into the shape and whatever desired tablet is there that can be produced then the next one here you can see a table on detailed description of different types of tooling so basically there are four different types of tooling b tooling d tooling bb tooling and db tooling so b tooling has a punch length of around 133.6 mm then its diameter punch diameter is around 19 mm die diameter is around 30.15 mm height of die in mm is around 22.2 and maximum tablet size in mm uh, either round or capsule is around 16 or 19 then for type a uh, d tooling punch length is again uh, 133.6 mm then punch diameter is 25.4 mm then 38.1 is die diameter and height of the die is around 23.82 mm and maximum tablet size in mm is around 25 or 25 again for round as well as capsule then for bb tooling punch length is again 133.6 mm then uh, 19 is punch diameter 24 is die diameter in mm 22.2 is height of the die in mm and 13 or 14 mm round or capsule sized can be prepared over here then for db punch length is 133.6 punch diameter is around 25.4 mm then die diameter is around 30.15 mm 23.22 is height of the die and 19 upon 19 or 19 and 19 is uh, maximum tablet size in mm for round and capsule shaped tablets that can be produced using db type of tooling then the next one that is some important terminologies related to tablet tooling the first one head so it is uh, the end of the punch that guides it through the calm track of a tablet machine during rotation then the second one that is 
head flat or dual flat that is the flat area of the head that receives the compression force from roller in upper punch and determines the weight and ejection height in the lower punch then the next one is outside head angle so outside head angle is the area which gets in touch with the uh, roller prior to head flat while compression and inside head angle this is the area which pulls down the lower punch after ejection and lifts the upper punch after compression then the next one is neck the neck is the relieved area between the head and the barrel which provides clearance to the cum then the next one is the barrel barrel is the area that guides the punches while going up and down with reference to that of a uh, torrent guides then the next one is stem the area of the punch opposite the head beginning at the uh, tip and extending to the point where the full diameter of the barrel begins if the chamber is present then the barrel usually reaches its full diameter just above the chamber then the next one is the tip so this tip determines size shape and profile of the uh, tablet then the next one what we have is a uh, tip face so the area of punch is where the tablet is formed good surface finish is required here to get a uh, best quality of tablet then the next one is working length so working length is the distance between the bottom of the cup and the head flat is called as working length this determines the weight and thickness of the tablet then the next one what we have is overall length so this overall length is the distance between top of the cup and the flat head then the next one that is key angle so key angle this is the relationship of the punch key to the uh, tablet shape the key opposite sorry position is influenced by the uh, tablet shape then uh, take off angle and the torrent rotation then the next one is domed heads so this uh, domed heads uh, increases the dwell time and hence helps to achieve a better tablet hardness and the last one is dwell time so the time punches uh, spends over the pressure roller while rotating in the machine is called as dwell time so these are all the important terminologies from tablet tooling thank you